Well, Gilston, the city says there are 10 people staying here right now, and you can see some of uh, the area. This is the trailer for the bathrooms, the showers. They also have a place to do laundry. And like you mentioned, we got to look inside some of these tiny homes. Check it out. So these are our, our single units. It's they a tiny have, home. They got air conditioning. They got heating. They got their own bunks that could make a big difference in someone's life. I was actually surprised. I was um, thinking of, you know, homeless shelter. I didn't think that it would be so beautiful. Elizabeth Fabila has been here for a little more than a month. It's my own private, you know, house. I call it a little house, right? <laughs> Her little house is one of 12 here on Western Street near Claybank Road in Fairfield. We're excited for this project. It's the first of its kind. The city says it costs more than $800,000 to build this emergency homeless shelter. We are looking as a city to increase shelter bed capacity wherever we can. Um, so this is kind of our pilot program to do so. so these are restrooms. Nonprofit Mission Samoa runs this site. Gene Ahu is the director. I've been doing this for over 20 years, and that's the biggest problem in Fairfield is the recidivism of people coming back. So they have a classroom on site, training to operate forklifts and an auto shop. Our goal is to get them a job, get them a, a, a skill so they don't come back. I'm just grateful that, you know, he had this uh, place available for me um, because I didn't know where I was going to go. She's hoping to make the most of this opportunity. You want to go to class? Yeah. All right. All right, thank you. This is a great opportunity for me to finish building my foundation and um, getting back on my feet again. The city did run into delays with the project. This was actually supposed to open in late March or early April, but the city says this was its first time with a project like this. So they kind of learned from the obstacles they encountered and they say they would be able to move faster if they try this at another site uh, in, in the city in the future. Reporting live here in Fairfield, Liz Amy Tree, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, so Liz, I mean, there's a, there's a limited number of these units right now. So how do they choose who can stay there? There's a referral process, and so uh, different parties can uh, be the one to refer someone here, including the police department, for example, if they see someone that seems to be uh, in need of the help and maybe would be a good candidate, the police department could uh, refer someone here. Yeah, maybe somebody who's motivated to, to do better in their lives. Lizzie, thank you.